Profesa Njuguna Ndungu amesema serikali haina pesa huku akiongezea kuwa imelemewa kuwalipa wafanyakazi mishahara kutokana na upungufu wa mapato. Waziri huyo alisema hayo alipofika mbele ya kamati ya bunge la kitaifa ya fedha ili kueleza ni kwa nini serikali imechelewesha pesa za hazina ya ustawi wa maeneo bunge NGCDF. Aya alijiri huku maseneta uh, wa Azimio na Kenya Kwanza wakikatiza kikao cha leo ghafla kwani serikali haijalipa wafanyakazi wao. Katika tukio lisilo la kawaida, maseneta wa Kenya Kwanza na wenzao wa Azimio walizungumza kwa sauti moja na kuondoka kwenye kikao cha leo la siri kutokana na ukosefu wa mishahara ya wafanyakazi wao. Now two months going, we need about 674 million in both houses and just about 80 million for the Senate. Now, Mr. Speaker, last month, our staff has went without money. I'm aware that the disbursement for October to date has not been done. I'm aware that the Senate oversight has been processed. It's lying in Treasury. Honorable Senators, let us proceed with the business of the day. I will take it up. I will take it up as your speaker. Huku wenzao katika bunge la kitaifa wakilalama kuhusu kuchelewwa kwa pesa za hazina ya ustawi wa maeneo bunge. Deni ambalo kufikia sasa ni shilingi bilioni 54. If we go without any CDF money, we are just going to plunge ourselves into into a, a burning fire. Kilio cha wabunge katika mabunge yote mawili ikiwa dhihiri shotosha kuwa kuna uhaba wa pesa serikalini hali iliyopelekea waziri wa fedha profesa Njuguna Ndungu aliyefika mbele ya kamati ya fedha ya bunge la kitaifa kusema serikali imelemewa kulipa mishahara na matumizi mengine kutokana na upungufu wa mapato. I can tell you we are even having trouble with salaries. We are clearing salaries with arrears. Okay, you know, just imagine that the first thing we can do, and my, 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 you are familiar with this story, is that we cannot default on external debt because our credibility is going to be ruined. It takes the first charge. Waziri Njuguna anasema majanga ya mafriko na kiangazi kilichopita zimechangia kwa hali mbaya ya uchumi na kuilazimu serikali kutumia bajeti ya matumizi na maendeleo. Hata hivyo ufichuzi huo wa serikali umeibua maswali mengi mmoja wapo ya maswali hayo ikiwa ni kwa nini licha uhaba wa fedha ziara za wawakilishi wa serikali zinaendelea kuongezeka mfano ikiwa ni safari ya hivi majuzi ya rais William Ruto na ujumbe wake katika kongamano la mazingira la COP28 Apul Kamau TV47